Hey my quilty friends, today we're making a single Irish chain quilt block and it's block number 11 of my mystery block of the month series and if you don't know what that is I'll put a link down below so you can check it out. It's a nice and easy block this month, let me show you how to make it. To make the single Irish chain quilt block you're going to need five different fabrics and you can see the image here of what our block will look like when it's done. I've got the legend here telling you exactly what size to cut your fabric. So for example for our A fabrics we're going to cut four pieces at two and a half inches by eight and a half inches. Now you could take a screenshot of this right now or I'll put a link down below and you can get a copy over on my website. So the first thing we're going to do is make the centerpiece here. So we need our B, E and our F fabrics and then I'm just going to place them down so they match our image. And if you're using directional fabric just make sure it's sitting how you'd like it to be in your completed block. Take my E pieces. And then what we're going to do is sew the three columns together. And what I like to do is just pin them at this point so I don't accidentally sew them in the wrong order. I'm just going to pin them roughly and then when I get to each seam I correct it at the time. It just means I know that when I get to each piece where the pin is that's where I know I'll sew. So I'm stitching at stitch length 2, I've got my quarter inch foot on so I can get my quarter inch seam allowance and now as I come to each bit that I'm going to sew, I'm just going to remove that pin and check everything's lined up. I want it lined up on all three sides and when I'm happy I'll pop another pin in and sew. I won't worry about a back stitch and I'm going to start at the very edge. So I'm stitching right off the very edge and then I'll just take my next piece and do exactly the same, line up all those edges, pin and sew. And taking the next set and doing exactly the same. Coming off the very edge, cutting my thread. And then I will just snip them apart, being careful not to cut our fabric. And then I'll do exactly the same on our second side where we pinned. Cutting my thread and trimming the thread, the chain piece and holding them together. Now let's press. So for the two side pieces we'll press the seams down and for the center piece we'll press the seams up and that's just so we can nest them. So I'm just going to set the stitches and like the name suggests it sets the stitches into the fabric and just makes them stronger and help our block lay flatter. Then I'm just going to, I'll start with this one, make sure I'm pressing the seam down. Finger pressing here, we don't want any creases and pressing. making sure that seam's coming down again, finger pressing and pressing and then doing exactly the same for this piece except we're pressing up and then for this piece pressing down. So pop your pieces back in the correct position that we're going to sew them in and refer back to your image if you need to. And if you're using directional fabric just make sure the pieces are placed in the correct position. Now we're going to sew these columns together. So I'll just take this side here, face and right sides together. And I'll pick it up and I'll find those seams. And we want to nest them. So we've got one seam whoop, coming over and folded over this way. One seam folded over this way. We're just going to push them right up against each other so they can't go any further. And then I'm also making sure they're lined up along the top as well. So checking that, that looks good. And then popping a pin in. And then I'll find the next seams and do exactly the same. I like to just open them up and check it's creating a nice straight line. And then I also just like to pop a pin in in the middle and at the beginning and the end. OK, 
Okay, let's sew that together. So now I'll just sew along that entire edge starting at the very beginning. Just be mindful of the seams here where they've pressed. Make sure that when you sew over them, they're staying in the direction that you press them. I'm removing pins as you need to. And then I'll just sew the other side on doing exactly the same. Coming right off the end and cutting my thread. Now we'll give that a press. Now we just need to press our seams again and what we'll do is we'll press them both out towards the outer edge. So I'll just set those stitches. And finger press and then press and do the same on this side I will give the whole piece a press now if you weren't happy with how your corners ended up they might have been a little bit out like I can see this one here it, it is actually a little bit out this one here is perfect but that one could have been better it's up to you can you live with it or can you not live with it I can live with this but you can always unpick and try again it just takes a few minutes so if you if your corners are really bothering you and they're quite far out then just take that extra time to fix them up so now with our A and our C fabrics, I'm just going to place them in the correct position. And then just make sure again if it's directional fabric, you're happy with the way it's sitting. And you can see now that this piece will sew nicely to this piece. Okay, so that's looking great. What we're going to do now is we'll sew the three columns together again, just like we did when we made the smaller piece. So just doing exactly the same, making sure all my edges are lined up nicely and pinning and then sewing them all these columns together. Okay, and then just cutting my threads again, and then let's press. So now we're going to press our fabric, and we're going to press them all to our A piece. So for these two side pieces, we're pressing it into this larger piece here, and for this center piece, we're pressing it towards this larger side piece here. So just setting the stitches, finger pressing and pressing. Okay, now all we're going to do is sew our three columns together and we'll nest the seams just like we have done previously. So I'll place these right sides together, nest those seams, pin and sew and do exactly the same for this side. So let's set our stitches on those last two seams and then we'll press to the outer edge. And give the whole block a press. And there we have our cute single Irish chain quilt block. So there we have our single Irish chain quilt block, a nice and easy block to make. If you've liked this video, please do hit the like button. It really helps me out. 
Now one tip for this block is the center square here should measure eight and a half inches squared and depending on your quarter inch seam allowance it might be a little bit big so do just trim that down to fit. And if you've liked this video you might like to check out last month's blog when we made the Rocky Road to California blog. I'll put the link above. Thanks so much and I'll see you in the next video.